Hey fellow YouTubers and Hot Wheelers and Matchbox guys and Jada, all, all you crazy diecast collectors out there, how y'all doing? It's Hot Wheels Burt here and we're going to take and do a uh, kind of an update video. Um, I was talking to a good friend of mine, Master Loafer. He goes by on HotWheelsCollectors.com. Uh, he's got a YouTube channel. Y'all really should check it out. He's a great guy. Um, and his name is Joe Sims, and he's on my uh, Facebook groups there, Diecast Trades and Sales and uh, Northeast Diecast Collectors. Well, he basically was one of the first guys that I met online when I started collecting diecast cars and stuff like that. And he was one of the first guys that I met online, and he RAOK'd me like really super hard after I did a small video. Uh, kind of in response to a video he had done and he RAOK'd me really hard well back to the to the basic moral of the story is him and I were talking last night and he says so how is your collection actually doing he says uh, you must be gathering up quite a bit of stuff now and I was like yeah I really am I have collected up like crazy crazy amounts of stuff so he says well why don't you kind of do a recap video or recap and kind of give us an idea he says I'd like to see some of the stuff that you've actually managed to get so this here is going to probably be a multi-part series video here and what we're going to do is I'm going to start right here with this entertainment center area because this has got some of the stuff, most of the stuff uh, on the first couple of shelves is stuff I had when I very first began to start collecting. I had them two trucks. I had that 69 Chevelle. I had a few other ones that are down in here. Well anyways, when I first started collecting back in September of 2010, seriously, I've kind of collected for years. Um, and probably by that time, I maybe had maybe around 40, 50 cars uh, between 120 or uh, between 118th scale and the 164 scale stuff. I have probably 40 to 50 cars, maybe give or take, you know, within that area. I'd find one here or there at a flea market or tag sale or something, and I'd grab it up. And that's where I found like them trucks right there. That car right there, that 69 Chevelle, found them at some flea markets. Well, I started doing tag sales, and I've always done flea markets for years because I've always been involved in cars. But anyways, I back in 2010, I found a couple that were my favorite ones, which was the Poison Pinto, which is right here. And then the other one is the Larry's Towing Rambling Wrecker. Uh, let me see here. Where the heck have I got that? I know I got that here somewhere. Uh, stuck someplace special, I do believe. Oh, right there. Can you see it there? There you go. Right there. Got my trusty flashlight to show you. There's the Ramblin' Wrecker. And there's the Poison Pinto. Well, I found them in September of 2010 at the Bennington Car Show Flea Market. Well, when I found them, it kind of sparked my interest, and that's when it all propelled into this. A few of these I had at that time, and a few I have collected up since then. But here's some of my bigger scale stuff. You'll see a 56 Chevy, a Corvette, Thunderbird, 57 Chevy Nomad, uh, Chevelle, GTO, Challenger Cudas. And then we'll move down here. In the very back is a... Uh, 72 Chevy pickup truck. It's white. It's a model that I put together here, oh, probably seven, eight years ago. That model there I put together probably 12, 13 years ago, which is a 70 Roadrunner, and it's had been beaten up. I've lost the bumper and stuff. There's a couple of the other bigger ones that I've got, and then down here is kind of like my VW collection. Got a couple of the big, bigger drag buses, then I've got some smaller ones. That white one right there, the POW, missing in action. That come from a good friend of mine up in Canada, Brad. Thank you for that, bud. Um, first editions, 
right there. I changed the base on it, put real riders on it. That thing looks pretty sweet. Um, but there's some of that stuff there. Uh, Curtis Cruz, I got that Purple Passion from him. We got them uh, VW uh, Bugs there, right there underneath it. We got them from Donnie Sessions up there in Maine. Thank you, Donnie, for them. See where they are? They're right in there, right in the keeper stuff. But anyways, that there's uh, some of the stuff that I've got there, guys. Uh, some I, I had when I started. Some I picked up, like the, the red, the gray, and the white drag buses right there. I found them three the first year I started collecting. I found them right around Christmas time in New York. So this this is is gone. What you see right here is some stuff that I've had and some that I've gotten throughout the couple of years of collecting. Now over here, this white rack right here, I did a calculation on that here just a little while ago. And just in stuff that is loose, that is out of the packages, this ain't counting the connect cars or these three right here or any of them in the in protector packs or in uh, the 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 three packs or any of that. What I'm talking about here is just the stuff that is loose and open out in display, like the the loose stuff right here. That's what I'm talking about. There is 870 pieces from that shelf all the way down through there to the bottom, all the way over. And all the way up through them two shelves there, or two sides there, there is 870 pieces. Now you add in that 48 count case there, that 12 count case, that 12 count case, there's some nice pieces in there, let the light shine on them there, RLC record and stuff like that. And you count in all of these little five packs and these custom made ten packs that I got in here and everything else on there, that white shelf and all twenty dairy deliveries that are opened up on the top, there is over a thousand pieces on that white thing there. And uh what I'll do is I'll take and do a little quick here show of some of the stuff here, kinda slow for you. Bunch of my byway men. Super scrapers, power plows, whatever you want to name them as. Some of my super vans up there. Right in there, the blue one. That one right there is a nice one, Canyon Carver. That's a pretty rare piece right there, that top one right there. Thanks, Cliff Copeland, for that. RA okay. Then we got all this stuff in here. A uh, bunch of that right in there, that garage stuff right there, all come from Jesse Flores up in Alaska. He uh, donated a bunch of it, like that Mustang there, and, and that Mustang, and uh, there, there's just a bunch in here. Let me get this, flip this here up here, so you can see a little better there. A bunch of these Mustangs and stuff in here were all RAOK -okay stuff from Jesse. That's all garage series stuff. Then right here, we got a bunch of uh, treasure hunts that I got. I want to send a thank you out to Steve Sagona right there for that Southern New England Hot Wheelers club car. Master Loafer, thank you very much for that there. That Larry Woods, uh, 40 years of design car, plus that 55 right there. Got a couple Tampo car era cars there, no stripe on the on the sides on that and there's no striping at all no no tampos at all on the purple one there but that's all my treasure hunts there I got guys this is a 57 domain bunch of my 57 stuff that I got now well, we're up around nine minutes here so I'm gonna finish off with these three shelves down here uh, this here's some uh, 2011 stuff that I've got couple custom pieces there, that byway man there, and that one there, I actually took the base off of the Baja Breaker and used it on that orange truck right there, and then took this base that Cliff Copeland made for that truck and put it onto this one. So 
I switched a th few things around, but yeah, that REO, uh, that orange truck was an REO K from Cliff Copeland too. It was a custom he did. But that's some 2011 stuff there that I got that's open. Of course, I got some five pack stuff in the back there. Pretty cool stuff. We'll move down to this one here. I want to thank Kevin Lewis for that five pack there, the Hot Wheels Racing, and the other one right next to it. He uh, knows I like them uh, wreckers, so he he uh, got them and R A O K them to me. I want to send a big thank you out to him. Here's a couple more five packs I got over here, Batman one and stuff like that. And I got some Hot Wheels Racing there. Oh, Henry Elliott, thank you for the backdraft. Uh, Rescue Ranger, I like them. But there's my Hot Wheels Racing stuff. Another five pack. That belongs to the wife. She stole that one from me. And then down here we got a bunch of bone shakers. Got a Highway Hauler over there. Got a Vandy Camps GTO right there. Then we got a uh, Vandy Camps VW Boss. An all large wheel 32. All small wheel, coronet, short car. Uh, there's something special about that car, and I forget what it is right there. The one my light is on. I've got to check that out again. A small bone shaker collection started. And uh, some other stuff there. El Camino, a custom that I did that come apart. A rare bone shaker right there. But, yeah, there's some stuff there. All right, guys. Um, I'm probably going to take and cut it right here, and we'll start out on our second video, and we'll move over to this over here, and start out on that, and move our way up. Alrighty? Alrighty, guys. I'll see you soon.